It's really normal to experience an increase in pain without there being a change in structure to our body or an injury occurring. Now, when we have an increase in pain, there are many things that we can look at to try and troubleshoot this issue. The first important factor that we like to consider is your sleep. It's really important that we are maintaining consistent sleep over a long period of time. Research shows that uh, sleep deprivation over a prolonged period of time does have the potential to increase a person's pain experience. So regardless of there being an injury or a physical change in structure, it is possible for somebody to feel pain and experience pain if they're lacking sleep over a prolonged period of time. The next thing we like to look at is somebody's stress levels. So we also know that prolonged increase in stress over time has the potential to increase the person's pain experience. So if we're looking at you know, pain over a long period of time, it's really important that we consider the person's stress levels and if there is a way that we can reduce those stress levels to help improve daily function and those pain levels. The last thing that we like to look at is nutrition. So we like to look at specifically the amount of processed foods that a person is eating and whether or not they're getting the nutrients that their body needs. So when we're considering uh, pain and you know, why pain might be occurring without there being an actual change in structure or damage, uh, this is quite a complex area, but there's some really simple things we can do to try and help that pain experience. The first one being sleep, very underrated, but essential and vital to somebody's long-term health. The second thing we like to look at are the stress levels of a person and finally nutrition so making sure that our body is getting the nutrients that it needs so if you're experiencing pain and you're not really sure why because there might not be an obvious injury or physical damage to an area consider these three points and it might also be worth talking to your healthcare professional